Kao friends. In this video, I want to show how to hide one or more measures to a group of users that should not have access to the information provided by those measures. I want to use the object level security, which is a feature in Power BI that any analysis services that we described in other videos. We have an unplugged video about object level security, and we also have an entire section in the Mastering Tabular video course describing this feature. However, the object level security does not uh, enable, the, the, does not provide the ability to hide one measure. You can hide a table and a, or, or a column or more tables, more columns, but you don't have the ability to apply the object level security to a measure. However, we can actually do that by just using a small trick that I will show you in this demo. So let's see the business problem we have. The initial model is a contoso model where we have a sales amount margin, margin percentage, and we want to show these measures to everyone. But then we have uh, a few measures only for sellers, and we want to define a security group, which is people who should not have access to those measures. We don't want to show reseller value, reseller margin, and reseller margin percentage. Uh, why? Well, if we take a look at these measures, reseller value is actually the only measure that I want to really hide because it is uh, computed based on the sales amount, which is a measure visible to everyone, but it is multiplied by 0 0.9. So I want to show 90%, or in other words, uh, reseller value is 10% less than the sales amount. And this information is what I consider sensitive. I don't want to show this number, this 90%. This, this is a confidential information, and a few users should not have access to this information. Now, problem is that this information is not tied to something in the model, something like a table or a column. And if I take a look at the other two measures for the resellers, this is based on the reseller value and the reseller margin, and the reseller margin is based on Sorry, the margin percentage is based on reseller margin and reseller value. Reseller margin is based on reseller value minus total cost. Now, if you think about the dependencies that exist in these uh, measures, all these measures are based on measures that are visible. So there is nothing that actually can block these measures to be shown to the user. And what I want to do, I want to create a security group. So I want to go here and I want to create a new role. And let's create this role like reseller, seller, seller security. I just, oops, I don't, okay. I just created the name reseller security and I'm not going to enable any filter, any role level filter here. Why? Because the object level security must be applied by using tabular editor. So I'm going to open this model with tabular editor. Tabular editor shows a warning saying, look, you're going to uh, modify something that is not supported by Power BI Desktop. And actually, the feature I'm going to use is not supported by Power BI Desktop, but it is supported for models we publish on the Power BI service, which is what we want. And in reality, we will use Power BI Desktop in the demo. It just works. But if I take a look at what I can do in terms of object level security, when I select um, table, for example, says, and I look at the properties available here. So let's go down here and let's see what we have in the object level security. So here you see that the object level security is available uh, also for the new group for seller security, which is uh, set to default, which means in this case visible. Uh, so every user in this security role has access to uh, the table says, and actually this is a required because otherwise people will not see my measures. But if I go at the measure level, so let's uh, go to reseller value, reseller value doesn't have here object level security. So the table can have object level security, the, the, the measure cannot. I cannot directly influence that. However, I know that if I apply um, a criteria that hides an object, like a table or a column, uh, to a group of users, any measure that could use, that could depend on that object, will be hidden. So this is what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to create a dependency between reseller value, which is the, the measure I want to hide, 
and some object I can actually hide through the object level security. Now, the problem is that, to be honest, none of the tables and columns I have in the model at, the, at, at this stage is something I want to hide. If I take a look at the, at the model, let's go here. Um, well, I don't want to hide anything here. I, I want to show all these tables to the users. I just want to hide that measure. So the idea is that I can just create a table, a hidden table that I will use just for the security. And so how can I create a table like that? Well, I can create a table like uh, a calculated table. Actually, I need an empty table. I don't need anything. I just need an object that I can use with the object level security. So I can create reseller, a security, a reseller security table, which I can define like, you know, this way, just uh, uh, one row. Oh, let's see if I have to write at least uh, some value here. Row zero. So I can create a table that has one column, one row. But if I don't really want to populate this table with anything, I could say, okay, instead of zero, I use blank. So I just have a, 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 an empty value, but then I just, I don't want to see the, the, the table, the, the, the only row of this, of this table. So I can just use the filter. Now, actually you can use whatever you want. I just want to show that I can create a table that it's clear that doesn't have anything that is uh, valuable, right? So this table is empty, has no rows, has one column value, doesn't contain anything. What is important, I want to hide this table. So here, I'm gonna click this button because I want to hide this table to the user. So if I go back to uh, Tabular Editor, so let's uh, go to Tabular Editor now, you see that now I have my reseller security table that is grayed out because it's not visible. And because this is a table, I can actually hide this table. Uh, not just hide this table to, to the user. This is just because it is not visible. But I can apply here in the object level security. For reseller security, I'm going to change the default here. I'm going to say, well, for the reseller security uh, role, this table is not visible, is not accessible. Which means that now any measure that has a dependency on this table uh, will be hidden too. How can I use this for my, um, for my goal, which is I want to hire a seller value? Well, I can just create a fixtures dependencies, like I can write a variable that I will not use. And so in this variable security, I want to assign reseller security, which is the name of the table. And then I return a value that ignores my variable. This way I'm defining a variable. The variable is not actually used in the rest of the DAX code. And because of that, it will not apply any effect to the, the query plan. I will not slow down the performance, but because the reseller security table that I'm specifying here, here is part of the expression from a security standpoint. If the reseller security table is not accessible, this measure should not be accessible too. So once I define this, uh, the measure this way, and I can save this measure, I could have modified the measure this way also in Power BI, to be honest. If I go back here, my reseller value measure is still here. So far, so good. But what happens if I go in uh, modeling and I say, now I want to view this model with an user that is uh, belonging to our seller security. So I simulate a user belonging to, to this security role. So if I click OK, I have an error here because this report includes measures that are no longer visible. Of course, my original report is still working. But what is important is that if we take a look at the list of the measures here, my reseller measures disappeared. And not only reseller value, also reseller margin and margin percentage disappeared because they are uh, related. They have a dependency uh, on reseller value, which has a dependency on reseller security, which is now hidden. So this is a technique that could be very useful. And in reality, you can use this technique not just for measures, but also for KPIs. 
I have another similar requirement here. In this case, this uh, report includes the margin percentage, which is something that I want to show to everyone, but the margin status is a KPI I don't want to show to every user. I want a few users to not have access just to that KPI. They can have access to the margin percentage measure, not to the KPI. Now, how can I hide this? Well, the KPI is another feature I have to edit in Tabular Editor. So I go in Tabular Editor and I take a look at how I define the KPI. So here, let's go a little bit this way. So we have this, okay, I'm not covering the editor. So the definition of the KPI is just a, a measure that uh, only has a dependency on margin percentage and margin percentage goal. And if I take a look at the goal expression, the target expression, the target expression is the actual number I want to hide or the business logic I want to hide. I want to hide that 55% is my goal. And how can I do that? Again, I use the sim a similar technique. First, I have to create a calculated table that I will use as an object to hide all the measures that I want to hide for the security group for uh, the KPI. And so let's create the KPI security, which I can just repeat like I did before. I create a measure that has a blank, but then actually I want to hide this row and I just created a, a, a measure, uh, sorry, a table KPI security, and I want to hide this table. So I want to go here and I just, so let's see if I can show this one in a more visible place, okay? So I can hide the KPI security here. The table is hidden to the model because this is not a table I want to show also to a regular user that have access to everything. But uh, before moving forward, I want to also create the uh, security role. So I will create another role, KPI security. Again, I don't have to uh, edit any role level security in this case. I just want to create the role KPI security because this allows me, when I save this and I go back to tabular editor, this allows me to see that KPI security is, a oops, KPI security is available here at the bottom. And because KPI security is available now, I can define my target expression with a dependency like I did before. So security is equal to uh, KPI security. So I define a dependency between the variable security and the KPI security table, just because this way the engine says, oh, this is there is dependency. If KPI security is not visible, this KPI only should not be visible too. And I confirm this. Now, if I save this and I go back to Power BI, what I see is that this is still visible because I am the administrator user, but if I viewed this as a user in the KPI security role, you see that at this point, this is working, wait a minute. So this is still working, so let's stop viewing. Oh yes, of course, I forgot to modify the security, the object level security uh, state for the table KPI security. So here, KPI security, this table, I have to set the object level security for the KPI security to none. So let's do that and let's see what I did. So this is important. So this is the reason why it was not working. Now, if I save this again and I go back to my uh, report, if I view this as a user in KPI security, I see that this is not visible, of course. I no longer have access to the KPIs, but of course, the other reports are still accessible. Of course, remember, because the object level security in Power BI uh, break existing reports that use those uh, measures, this is the expected behavior. Uh, Excel has a different behavior. Excel simply removes the measures that are not visible in a pivot table and you still have access to the other measure. But this is the by design behavior of Power BI. What is important is that I'm able to hide those measures to the user that create new reports. And I can make sure that if they have access to the report, they will not see the numbers because uh, the report stopped working.
So we have seen how to hide measures to a group of users so that they don't have access to sensitive information that have been just defined in the DAX code and are not present in particular part of the data model. Well, the technique we used, we create empty tables just to have an object that we can use with the object level security, creating a dependency with the measure we want to hide. And this way, we achieved our goal. Enjoy DAX.